Okay, we're ready to start step 27. It's going to be the rim. I'm going to make it with the tire in the scene. That's usually the way I do it, so that's what I'm going to do. It. But I'm going to turn off the hypernub here and deselect the tire. Let's add a disk object into it. Let's move it up a little bit to right about there. And what we want to do now is go to the attributes. Select the disk, go to object mode, and let's change the disk segments to a zero. And we're going to leave it at 36 for this one. We're just going to make it a simple little RAM. It'll be detailed, but simple. And we'll leave that like that. OK. Go ahead and downsize that. Let's make it editable. And let's shrink it down so it fits pretty good in the tire. And we want to, when we shrink it down we want a little bit of edge here because it's going to come out here we're going to add a lip to the to the rim and so that looks pretty good right there we're going to leave it right there then we want to move it down just a little bit because we want some depth to the rim and let's go a little bit more okay go to the objects window and let's go ahead and hide the tire we don't need to see it okay now this is the start of our rim what we're going to first do is go ahead to polygon mode Select all. All right. Now go to your inner extrude tool. And let's extrude one. Oops. See, I forgot to take off the preserve groups. So double click this, bring it up, and go ahead and preserve groups. Downsize that again. Now let's go in just a little bitty bit. As you can see there, I got a little bit of edge there. That's what we want. And you want to go one more time. And go about like that. Uh, that's pretty good. Now go down to the middle and let's shrink it down a little bit more. Extrude it in and shrink it down to right about there. That looks pretty good. Now let's push the space bar, go back to your live selection tool. Let's bring this down. Let's make it a little bit of slope of a rim. Put it back center and then drag this down and watch the numbers in the middle. Let's go ahead to drag it down to where it's about five right there. Let's check that out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now go back to your inner extrude tool. Extrude, ext inner extrude one time. Okay. There we go. And then do it one more time and then pull this up to right about there. Scale it down just a tiny bit. There we go. Then inner extrude again one time. Just a little bit. Pull it up. We want a little bit of a lip there and extrude in one more time like that and then come on in one more time let's back back out let's raise that up a little bit because we want it to curve smooth extrude into about right there pull that up we want it to be kind of a round shape to it extrude again and raise it up again one more time. We're going to make the rims a little bit different than the ones that are on the actual truck I first modeled because we want a little bit more detail into them. Those are really simple and really fast to do. So now let's extrude one more time just a little bit, give it an edge to it. Extrude again. Let's drop this down to about right there and extrude one more time. Now what you want to do is bring your objects manager up. Go ahead and hit this um, save current section and this is going to be our cap later on but go ahead and select back to the disk okay we've got that right there you can save it as a rim and or just push save because it's part of the tire so we'll just save it and I save it on an external drive so it takes a little bit longer to save especially with the recording software going okay now we're ready to make our rim a little bit more detail. But first thing we need to do is go to points mode, get your knife tool, double click, make sure you have loop selected. And let's bring a line out here because we want a little bit more detail here where it's a little more beefy in the middle. And then add a cut right here. But we're going to add a little bit more because we want more roundness in the holes that we're going to put here on the outside here. So we, we separate these lines just a little bit more so we get more roundness. So now go to polygon mode and let's select four of these and skip two and then the next four skip two four skip two 
four, skip two, four, skip two, and four. And it should be lined up pretty good like that. Next is really simple again, is go ahead and you want to do your extrude tool, extrude inward just a little tiny bit because we want a rough edge to it or a, a real square edge to it and then extrude one time way down or like that and let's go deep with it we want a deep rim now you can see it's kind of not straight if we go to f4 front view we don't want that so while you've got that selected go ahead and pull that in a little bit there we go until it's kind of straightened up and bring it in just a little tiny bit there we go that looks good right there it's all straightened up for us okay the next thing you want to do is go to your inner extrude and but we're going to extrude out just a little bit and drop it down just a little bit okay and then extrude out one more time just a little bit and then push delete okay that looks pretty good right there and now what we want to do is go ahead and extrude this outer edge line here to fit into the tire. So go to your edge, uh, your line tool, loop selection, and there we go. Have that selected. Now what we want to do is go to our extrude tool, extrude just a tiny bit, and then pull it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, before we continue on, let's go ahead and um, go to our objects mode and then drop this uh, into the hypernub here and you can go ahead and group these two if you want to group them there we go and we want to see the discs and we want to see everything right now we'll just turn on the hyper suit so kind of look we're getting so far looking good so far and we may have to size it a little 